So today I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I use the iDrive with my clients so that they can get a copy of their receipts to me or how they can use it to keep track of their receipts and keep them in one single spot where they'll have easy access to it no matter where they're at. Hi, I'm Gisela and I have dedicated my YouTube channel to empowering small business owners to take over their finances. Today, I wanted to go over with you a system I use for one of my clients that wants to keep their receipts organized because we all know how important that is, right? We do not want to be in a situation where we have to prove a transaction and either that receipt has a, the image has erased or we don't know where it is. And this is a way of keeping those receipts in a safe place where you'll always have access and a clear image that will be able to let us know what that transaction was and how that pertains to the business. Now, I know there's a lot of apps out there that would be able to do this for you, that would be able to keep track of your receipts and keep them all in a system. But also as a new business owner, you wanna keep your costs down as much as possible. And in this case, this is what worked for the client. And I'll go ahead and show you. It is with the using the iDrive. So it is specific to having a Gmail account. And also you can do it with an iPhone. Uh, in this particular example, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you with an Android, which is less steps scanning to an iDrive through the i uh, through the Android phone versus with the Apple phone since Android. Uh, pertains to Google. If there is an easier way to do it on an iPhone, please let me know. Use an iPhone, that's what I use to record my videos and I have firsthand scanned uh, receipts with my iPhone and it definitely creates more steps and you know, especially when it comes to uh, scanning receipts, you want it to be as fast as possible so that it doesn't add up to your time. I was able to upload a receipt with the Android phone, phone probably within a second or less. I myself use the app that QuickBooks Online provides. So I do upload my receipts through QuickBook, the app that QuickBooks Online provides. In this particular case, like I mentioned before, it's for QuickBooks Desktop. In the next couple of minutes in this video, I'll go ahead and show you how to upload the receipt through an Android phone. So I'll go ahead and show you what the client themselves would see to and the steps that they would do in order to upload the receipt. And then I'll also show you what I see as the bookkeeper when I have my folder shared with the client, how I get the receipts and how simple it is and how fast it is so it does not take so much time from you. From your phone, you're going to click on the iDrive icon. Then you're going to click the plus sign on the right hand corner. You're going to choose scan. And then you're going to allow the camera to take a picture of the receipt. After taking a picture, you're going to verify that the image is good. You're going to hit on OK, then hit the three dots on the right hand corner. And we're going to go ahead and rename the image. So I usually rename it with the date the transaction happened, where the transaction happened, and also the chart of accounts under which we're going to categorize it under and the amount of the transaction. This is a preference. This is what I prefer, what works best for me and this client. Um, you can choose whatever works best for you. After labeling the receipt, you're gonna hit on OK. And on the next window, we're going to go ahead and verify that the uh, labeling is correct. And then the folder that we wanted to upload to is also the right folder. So from here, we're all set. I created this sample chart to imitate the system that I created for this particular client. So this particular client wanted a way to be able to organize their receipts other than other than the uh, famous shoe box. So this is what I created for them in the iDrive. After the client uploads their receipt, I would go under shared with me. And in this particular example, I know that the shared folder is called receipts too. So I would double click into the receipt and I normally um, separate my receipts by year. So I have a couple years here. So if you remember the receipt that we uploaded was dated September 3rd, 2021. 
The restaurant's called Chido's. It was for meals and it was a total of $63.08. So if I double click on the document, this is the image of the receipt. And if you also notice, it's uh, scanned under a PDF file. So that's cool there. And then from here, me as the bookkeeper, what I would do is I would move it into the 2021 folder. So you can either drag it, so highlight it blue and drag it, or you can also right click, move, and then you would choose the folder that you wanna um, move it to. If you notice here, my 2021 folder is also has subfiles by uh, the chart of accounts that I use in this for this particular client. So for us, it would go under meals. So I would just click here, click the little arrow. And at the bottom, I would just click on move here. That's how you would move if you right click, or you can just highlight it, move it into the 2021 folder. You would um, click move from here and double click onto the 2021. The reason why I drag it, and again, this is just a personal preference, is so that the ones that I've dragged into 2021, I know that I have not um, categorize them based on the chart of counts yet. So I leave that till last. Again, this is my personal way of doing it. And from here, I know that this goes into meals. So I would drag it in here after I have, I have uh, reviewed it and I have entered it into QuickBooks. And also for this particular kind, they use uh, QuickBooks desktop. So I have my iDrive synced to my computer. So if I wanted to attach this receipt to the transaction itself, I would just be able to get the document from here and then there would be a copy also in their accounting system. So again, after I have reviewed it, entered into QuickBooks, I would just put it in the chart of accounts that we're using for this particular, particular transaction, which is meals. And here's the receipt that we just uploaded or gives you an idea on how to keep those receipts organized because we all know that that's very important come the end of the year when they, we deal with the IRS or for any time where we have to prove a transaction um, or forbid it that we get audited, right? So this is a very good way of keeping those receipts organized. This is what I came up for the client and it is an economic way of doing it because the iDrive is free. You, you're gonna hear me say that many times. The iDrive has made my system much more easier to manage and therefore I will always praise the iDrive and I hope I hope that you guys start to develop a system where the iDrive is included for you. There are other uh, apps or systems out there other than the iDrive. So, and it doesn't only have to be for business use, this also can be for your personal expenses and is able to keep you up to date on your receipts and also give you a quick access to any receipt that you might need access to. So I hope that you found the video helpful and let me know if you have a system that works better for you. I'm always up to new ways of becoming productive. Some systems work better than others. So definitely let me know what you use to keep track of your receipts. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you are interested in seeing or something that you would like the assistance with. Let me know. I hope to connect with everyone at my next video.